Hello there, fantastic to see you. You, gosh, you look better every time. Every single time. So I'm gonna start out by saying I'm alive, which is also the title of this video. And the reason I'm saying that is that is the most asked question that I get on social media, is if I'm dead or not, and I'm not dead, I don't think. I hope not. If I am, then we have just broken some serious, serious scientific ground here because we can communicate, and that's fantastic. Uh, also, I apologize for, it's been like two months since my last video. I basically say this every time I make a video, but this one, I have a legitimate excuse, which is that, as you know, I have two jobs. One in New York, one in LA. Beam, Vsauce. And that has taken up a lot of my time, a lot more than I thought it would. I think, I made a video a long time ago about limits, and I, I kind of think I've hit it at this point. I don't have those moments now to, to recapture that energy, and so, I'm working on it, I'll figure it out, but I think this is good. You never know what you can and cannot do until you actually try to do it, which I'm a big believer in. Let me be honest with you, I'm a terrible liar, so I'm just gonna be upfront. I, this is an unboxing video of the latest Curiosity Box and also a Q&A video, because you, you asked me some questions on Twitter, and I actually already filmed this video, but the focus was off, and I, I just, it wasn't terrible, but it's not good enough. I can't deal with that. So I'm refilming it, so I've already unboxed this. I'll still be excited, because I still think it's freaking awesome, but I did already unbox it, just want to be upfront. So a lot of the packaging has been torn apart because I was very enthused when I unboxed it. So I apologize. If my math is correct, with this latest box, the fifth Curiosity Box, we should now be over $100,000 donated to Alzheimer's Research because of, of you purchasing this box. So that is awesome. What, that's like a, that's a milestone in my mind, $100,000. That's really cool. And it's only going to grow the more of these boxes we make and sell. So that is so awesome. And also, we changed the, the way the box looks, as you can probably tell. And I was black and orange, not just orange. Okay, now let's, let's go with one first question for the Q&A. Mike Rugnetta asks if the VR hype is real or if it's going to be similar to something like the mini disc. Mini disc was cool. I had one. I thought it was really awesome. Turned out to not be. It was very counterintuitive and MP3 players kind of blew it out of the water. But VR, if you've ever used a VR headset for video games, I remember playing Half-Life 2 with the first version of the Oculus and it blew my mind. Because I know that it's not real, but it feels real. Your mind believes that what you're seeing is reality. And I thought, still think, that that is the future of VR. Video games are going to take it to the next level. How other mediums use it will be interesting to see, but video games, ugh. Oh. First things first, when you open it, there's a new thing there. Oh, there's ink and he looks great. And then you have this little card here, which on the back tells you everything that's in it. Whoop, whoop. And then as always, there's the Curiosity Quarterly with Michael, Kevin and I being hip young kids like Steve Buscemi from Community. You guys on the back with your boxes. The booklet just tells you more information, more science behind the, the items that are in the box. And there's articles, one by Michael, one by Kevin about cheese, and one by me about, guess what, tacos. And then we also have our greater spotlight and also the artist spotlight. And we'll get back to the artist spotlight in a second. It's Yetis and Friends. Ooh, this is a good one. Johnny Bosworth asks what my favorite movie or TV show that came out this year was. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bend the rules a little bit with the TV show. I just started and I apologize for the, the lateness. I just started watching Rick and Morty and Rick and Morty is whoa, a masterpiece. I watched the first two seasons in like two days. It's so good. And then for movies, Get Out I thought was incredible. It was phenomenal. What a great suspenseful film. That was so well written, so well directed, so well acted. I went to the theater and saw it. I paid for a whole seat, but I really only needed the edge. It was so good. Back to the box. One of the first things we see is Ink's magnificent mobile microscope. And this thing is really cool. Again, I've already unboxed it, so let me find the slides. Here's the slide container, but it comes with two prepared slides already. One is a butterfly wing, and the other is a duck feather. And then there's three empty slides, so you can put it in whatever you want. So we spent a lot of time on this one, because most Mobile microscopes only do 30 times magnification. This one does 90, which actually gets you close enough to, to really see things that you can't see with the human eye. So you can use it on your phone, you attach it, and then you can use your camera on your phone to actually be the viewfinder and you can take photos and videos. But you can also use it without a phone. You can just use your eye the way you would a normal microscope. And it comes with a light built into it, actually two lights. You have the normal light so you can really get details, and then you have a UV light so you can see things that we can't see at all with the human eye. Emily asks, what are your thoughts on my new puppy? Your puppy is adorable. These levitating rings, which Michael found, are awesome. What we can see is if we put it down, it pops back up, and it will whoop, shoot off if you want. Or you can do this. Oh, now they attach. But one of my favorite things is, look at that. Oh, they all move, even though we're not touching the ones on top. Pretty cool. And they have the Vsauce colors. Oh, so back to the artist's spotlight. We're now including an actual piece of the artist's art. 
and we're doing it as temporary tattoos. So this is one of Yetis and Friends pieces that we turned into a temporary tattoo. So you can put it on your face, on your neck, on your arm, wherever you want. Really excited about that. I love being able to include more art in the box. Now Spare asks, if you could change one thing about Earth, what would it be? Uh, more moons. Another thing in here is Ink's Travel Patch. So this is a really nice embroidered patch. It's basically a sticker, but it adheres to fabric permanently. So you can put this on your backpack, on a jacket. It's a really nice embroidered patch. A little ink there with his test tube and his hat and his backpack. He's going on a journey. And then we also have, which I've already opened and I apologize, Ink's Eclipse Glasses or Ink Eclipse Glasses. So you get a pair, one for you, one for a friend. So you can look at the eclipse if you want when that happens later this month. I am stylish and cool and not blinded. Now I can look at the eclipse. Haha! -ha! Stell asks, how are you? Like, really? I mean, I, I kind of talked about that. I am very stressed out. Um, and one thing I do, and I feel like this happens with anyone who's creating, no matter what art you're doing or what you're producing, where you, you're very self-critical. And I found myself to be much more self-critical now as I've stretched myself thinner and thinner into a multitude of different verticals or different parts. We have Vsauce. We have Beam, there's the Curiosity Box, there's a lot of other projects that I'm working on that I can't talk about just yet publicly, but they're very exciting. But I'm just trying to do all these things, like I said in my last video, I'm trying to make up for lost time. And in doing that, I'm also just kind of finding what I can and can't do mentally, emotionally. The next thing is the t-shirt, and it comes in a new box. This is the box. Pretty cool, little tentacle there. I'm actually wearing the t-shirt right now from when I previously unboxed it. So it's Voyager 1. And if we go to the back of the shirt, let's see if we can do it. From Voyager 1's Voyage, starting in 1979, and then it has all the dates of important parts where it hit in the solar system and the universe. It's a really cool shirt. We designed it, so it's a, it's a custom one made by us, only available in the box. Olivia Williams asks if I prefer living in New York or Los Angeles. I mean, there's things I like about LA. I like the weather, I like the fact that there's nature there. I like that I can get in a car and I can drive somewhere different. New York, though, is, is magical because there's so much happening all in one moment. There's everything accessible to you, and I, I, I love it. I love New York. New York to me is, is home. I mean, I've lived here for 11 years. I only lived in LA for two. Oh, this is awesome. We are starting a new series, which is Curious Creatures, and this is number one, and it's Nikola Tesla. It's a really cool pin. Comes in its own fancy little box with like a little thing behind here talking about Nikola Tesla and his achievements, and then there's the pin itself on a nice little backer card, Nikola Tesla. Don't hold me to this, but the plan is that every box will have another curious creature, and it's gonna be a collectible series. Then we have, which I, I love this book, Cross Sections Castle. If you, I don't know, when I was growing up, I, I would read this all the time at the library. And again, it's a Curiosity Box official selection, so this is actually printed onto the cover. And then, what's unique about this one too, is there's a custom forward right here from Michael Stevens that he wrote. Let's let's get into it real quick. Here we see Living Like a Lord, and there's the cross section of the castle, and it shows you all the different rooms, who's in them, what they're doing, how it functions. Oh, it's an $18 book. Deco asks, what is my favorite dinosaur? T-Rex. When I first saw Jurassic Park, the T-Rex, oh, blew my mind. So this one I really ruined the packaging of, and I apologize. So when you get it, this comes in one package and it's actually two products. One is, let's see if I can find the cover of it. Ink scale solar system wall decal set. So it's it's wall stickers and it's the actual solar system. Um, so we have like Mars and the sun and Venus and Jupiter and Earth, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, Pluto, not really a planet, but it's still there. Even comes with this really cool giant poster. They have a body diameter of all the planets in our solar system. And then there's the orbit radius of each one. So you have that. And then there's facts and instructions how to install it but also just facts about each planet and the moons here, even though it's not a planet, but that's okay. We love moons, we want more moons. Pluto's there, not a planet, but we love you, Pluto. One more one Pluto's, one more Pluto's. And it comes with something that I am so stoked about. If you've ever played this game, you know it's amazing, but it's Universe Sandbox 2. This is a $25 game and it is so good. You can explore the universe. It's a universe simulator. I mean, also if you have a VR headset, back to VR, you can play this game with a VR headset which makes it more immersive. You're actually looking around the solar system. Also, I should say that when I first did the unboxing, I went a little wild with my uh, knife and I ended up cutting my finger, but that's neither here nor there. So here's the code. Download that game. Really fantastic game. That's the latest Curiosity Box. So curiositybox.com, link down there. Ah, I just, I, it's so cool. And like all the packaging matches the new box design. I'm really excited about it. I think it's really, really cool. I mean, I like this thing so much. I even have two of my own subscriptions. I bought a year subscription for my mom and I bought my own year subscription just so I know what it's actually like to get the box in the mail and not nicely delivered to me straight from uh, our packaging facility in Denver. All right, back to questions. Let's do questions now. Desiree Ortiz asks, what do you think is one of your greatest achievements? Uh, honestly, I mean, this box I think is something that I'm really proud of. When it comes to achievements, and this goes back to being hard on yourself as a, as a creator, 
I don't think I, I really have any achievements yet. None that I really want to put a pin in. Like, there's still a lot more that I want to achieve. I, I think that everything that I've made so far in terms of videos hasn't been good enough, and I need to continue to make things that are great. Sergio asks if I've seen Baby Driver. Yes, Baby Driver's amazing. I love Edgar Wright. One of my favorite directors on the planet, because he makes things that feel so fluid. It's not just, oh, we, we wrote it, now we're gonna shoot it, and then we're gonna edit it. It's, everything's done, it feels like at once. When he writes it, it feels like he knows already how it's going to be filmed and how it's gonna be edited. So every piece fits together perfectly. The music, obviously, in Baby Driver is important, but the music, the, the way the camera moves, the way then it cuts and goes to the next scene, is so wonderful. Becca asks for a book recommendation. So if, it's, if I'm not reading science books, I'm usually reading pretty weird stuff. One of my favorite books ever is a book called Geek Love. And it's by this fantastic author. She has passed away since, but she's fantastic. The book is amazing. It's really, really weird. So just keep that in mind. Would not recommend if you're if you're young. It's probably like a high school and above kind of book. It's it's pretty racy, but it's really, really weird and good and deals with like the the freaks in a circus. It's really good. Ooh, this is a great one. Jan asks, life without tacos or life without anything above 720p resolution. Ooh, that is a tough one. I would go with life without tacos. I need my res, brah. Ooh, Chris, this is a great question. Do penguins have knees? I'm not even gonna answer it. I just love that question. What a great question. Do penguins have knees? The, the, but what I wanna leave you is with a jam, which is a just awesome music playlist. If you're new to jams, I, I basically make a digital mix CD or a, a mini disc, if you will, of music that I'm listening to that I like and I wanna share with you because I, I love mix CDs and I wanna continue that trend. So there's a Spotify playlist down there of the music I've been listening to. If you want to, you don't have to, but if you want to, uh, if you use like Tidal or Google Play Music or Amazon Music, any of those different things, I, Apple Music, recreate the playlist and then tweet it at me and then I will share that playlist with your handle in the description of this video so everyone can listen to the songs no matter what platform they're on. All right, that's all I got for you. I apologize that I had to refilm this video so the unboxing wasn't the first unboxing. That was my bad. All right, I'm gonna go uh, edit this video together. But remember, it is not goodbye, oh no. It's never goodbye. It's... Everything.